A layer style is simply one or more layer effects, as well as blending options that apply to a layer. Master and layer styles can definitely make a huge difference in Photoshop. Today, let's talk about inner shadow layer style. This inner shadow layer style is often used for some effects of carving on some texture surface. Mastering these techniques can allow you to create a very realistic wood carving effect like this. Step one, let's first create an inner shadow layer style. For example, I already have a wood texture background and created an icon in another layer. Double click this layer to create a new inner shadow layer style. In the upper part of the inner shadow panel, there are some structure options. Among them, blend mode and opacity options should be simple that everyone is familiar with. If you still have some questions, you can always go check my previous videos. The rest options are angle, distance, choke, and size. The only thing you need to pay attention to is that if you want to make the effect of this inner shadow blend into the background image more realistically, you must carefully check the lighting conditions of the background image. For example, in my case here, the light source is on the right side. So when adjusting these parameters, try to create an effect where the light shines from the right and the shadow should spread to the left. Then in the quality section below, you can adjust the contour and add some noise. This is obviously not the effect I need to use this time. Step 2. Next, in order to get a more realistic wood carving effect, we need to show the wood texture of the carved area. First, in the blending options, we should adjust the fill opacity to 0%. This way we can retain all the layer style effects, but make the layer content invisible. At this moment we can already see the wood texture. This area that is recessed by the carving should be exposed to less light and be darker. Go add a black color overlay and then adjust some blend mode and opacity to make this area darker. Finally, we can go one step further and add some bevel and emboss layer styles. It can give the edge of the wood carving a little thickness. Although it may only be a little highlight on the edge, it is this little detail that makes the final effect go further. Now, I personally think it is now a 80%. Zoom in and take a closer look. You will find that the edges of this wood grain carving are very smooth and perfect. This is not consistent with the actual situation, right? If it is really hand carved or even machine carved, there will still be some rough edges. Here is a commonly used method to create this rough edge effect. You can hold down the Option or Alt key and click on this layer to create a selection and then create a layer mask. Then select this layer mask, go to the top menu, find filter, pixelate, and select crystallize. Drag this slider to adjust the cell size. Since this effect is applied to the mask, the final effect will be like that part of the mask is craved. In this way, an overall rough edge carving effect can be achieved. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this demonstration can help. I'll leave the PSD file of this project in the description, feel free to download. And I have already uploaded more tutorial videos about layer style in this playlist, definitely worth a visit. Don't forget to subscribe and like, I'll keep uploading.